Andrew Zebert here, and welcome back to Strange Craft. This is episode 8, and we're starting things off at the perimeter. As you saw in that time lapse, we've been doing quite a bit of work from it, and yeah, just a quick update from here. Just want to show you around this. We've gotten about half done with the flooring, just finishing up this corner over here, but this is the pattern. Um, way, way bigger, much bigger. Turns out we're not going to be doing white glass, we're actually going to be doing clear glass, which you really can't see with my resource pack on, but I, I promise you there's still glass here. This has been about three days in the making so far, just doing all this. It takes a lot of time, so we're essentially placing the whole floor of this perimeter three times. Once for the stone, once for the powder, and then once for the glass. It, it takes a while. It takes a while to fill that many chunks of stone. Uh, powder and glass but we're getting there and we're, we're trying to we're trying to get it done it's getting there and then we're going to do the walls that are going to be black concrete powder i think it's going to look really cool as a quick void thing but enough rambling on this one we're going to get started on the today's project which is actually going to be a flower farm in a flower forest flower forest excuse me and we're going to be building it with carnage of course because that's what i do all my big projects with so, Karan, you looks like you've been uh, gathering some resources for this. Are you ready? Just about? Yep, just about. Looks like, indeed, we are just about ready. We're just going to be making, looks like, hopefully that's enough grass. I, I'd imagine that's going to be enough grass. Oh, hopefully. If not, we can just steal some grass from while we're there, right? Yep. Definitely just not going to ruin the econ their ecosystem there. Totally not. That's fine. Destroy the world. That's so funny. This red sheep is still here. I died him when I first came to this server. <laughs> it, he's, like, he, he's moved quite a bit. Because I remember he was way over there. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, squirrel. Oh, he stands out. <laughs> yes, he does. Especially among the white snow. It's a murder sheep. So it looks like we have shown up to our area. This is our nice little flower forest. We're going to be building this. Looks like Carnage already has a nice little ab abode set up here with our little temporary base. So yeah, we're going to be covering this place in a giant grass platform and then doing fun stuff with it. So this is how big our flower farm is going to be. It's about 57 or so blocks long. It's not exact quite yet because we're going to have to measure it to the module. You'll see exactly what I mean in a minute. But this is how wide it's going to be and we got the right location. So now the fun part is we just got to, we got to fill this in. So... Uh, let's get to it. And done. I actually didn't take that long, to be honest. It took like 10 minutes to fill that grass platform in. But now the, the fun part, we got to lay out the modules, lay out the redstone, and lay out the water collection, which shouldn't take too long, but that's the next step. So let's go get that done. And these are all the dividing walls that's going to be dividing up each module of this flower farm. Uh, and the, the redstone is going to make a little bit more sense once we get there. But, but now the fun part of we get to place all the dispensers and fill them all with water buckets. And that's going to be a pain in the butt. Because it is about 96 dispensers, I believe, if I remember my math right. But yeah, let's go. And now we got all the dispensers with water buckets, and they are all nice and filled. Also, we got the dispensers in the ground here. They don't have bone meal in them yet, but that is the next step. Got the walls all nice and done. If we just go on floor on the outside, it's a very modern-looking build so far. Just white concrete sea lanterns. And now for the fun part, I got to get underneath this thing and uh, start putting out the redstone. This should be fun. And after quite a bit of time and quite a few 
mistakes and everything, I've got most of the distribution roots done. So these lines right here are three tick repeater lines. So there's three ticks, technically there's four ticks of delay in between each module firing, just as because that three tick repeater turning on and off will give a double uh, update through the observer. So we're gonna get two uh, dispenses of the bone meal every time the module activates. And that's because uh, we won't, we're not just gonna use a four game tick clock because once it's just too much lag we don't need that because once a the block that the dispenser is pointing into grows something like a grass or a flower it doesn't bone meal anymore it you can't bone meal something that's already there so we're not going to waste the lag of the updates of the observers and everything so we're just going to send two updates and just make sure everything's grown as much as possible and then we're going to flush the water and then repeat everything just like that the last thing i gotta do with the redstone though is hook up this little hopper clock to the the timing circuit so i'll make sure that these activate in the right time of these and that's the last part of the puzzle and just got finished putting all of the timing in place so we just got a six hopper hopper clock going off right here so every time this hopper hits that's going to activate and double pulse these and this time it passes this hopper it's actually going to activate these which is going to activate the uh, water once and the second time it'll deactivate and shut all the water down but it is time i've been testing this in a creative world and i've tested it is going to work once we get the bone meal in place and once we actually get everything all the fun finishing touches in place mainly just the bone meal we got to get that and got to get the bone meal distribution in there as well we also got to make a collection system because i don't really want to overload the system before we even have it and i'm going to get rid of this dust so this is going to be a completely dustless farm as you can see over here it's just pure rails observers and repeaters and that's all i just ran out of observers i, I just need two more i just need a uh, observer here an observer there and then a rail here but yeah um can't do that if you don't have any observers but the farm itself is pretty much done just gotta get a collection and the bone meal and then that'll be it and if you guys if anyone wants a tutorial on how to make like just a module or even poor modules of this go ahead and comment that down below i will be most likely doing a tutorial soon but if you guys want that i'll make sure to get that out more sooner than later yeah you think this is enough storage for flowers i, I think so so we got 11 different kinds of flowers as far as i can tell coming out of this thing we got the poppies the red tulips the orange tulips, the dandelions. So we got red, red, orange, yellow. And then we got blue from the cornflower. And then we have magenta from the alliums. And then pink from the pink tulips. And then light gray from the azure bluet. And then also light blue or light gray from the oxide daisy. And then we got whites coming from the take that. Uh, whites coming from both the white tulip and lily of the valley. So I think we got all 11 flowers covered, and then we got these four here, and these are not sorters, these are just straight up here for all seeds, and if anything scoots over it without getting picked up, it's just going to get caught in there, because if it doesn't get picked up, eh, we don't really care about it that much. What is going on is we got these three modules, and these three modules, they all come and meet in the center, right here, and then the items fall down and then go through that water stream that I just showed right here. So yeah, they just go ahead and fall down and then fall through and then land on this water stream, which will then cycle them through once we get the actual sorter in place. That'll all be working. And then up here, we got these are the bone meal spots and we got water streams going through these. So this, this bottom platform is just kind of like our, um, we got the portal and everything. This is just kind of the home platform. So we're going to have right here a bone, uh, a chest that's going to take shulkers a bone meal split it up between two water streams and item elevator it up and then it's going to distribute these and just kind of shoot it down these and then fill up all of the droppers and fill up all of the hoppers and yeah go ahead and, and that's going to fill up the entire farm yeah i'm most likely going to do a tutorial on this by the way so stay tuned for that but i think it's a good time to just get this horse running and get this farm fully up and running almost there and it is actually the next morning. I really want to try to get this done one night, but uh, it was really, really late for me. So I had to go to bed. Carnage looked like he did some finishing touches on this when I woke up. But uh, the farm is now completely done, so I'm just going to give you guys a quick tour. So you guys saw all of these. We got all the sorters in place. These are all the flowers that we produce. We got four for bone meal. I produced just a little bit of extra bone meal and such. 
And then right over here, this is a shulker unloader. So it doesn't actually take only full, it can take partially full. But uh, if we just pop down here, you can see it's got a shulker unloader here. It dish, it's a double hopper unloader. So one hopper goes this way, one hopper goes this way. And then these, oh, there we go. And then these, those uh, glass tubes, just fly, uh, filter up into these. And then the bone mode just goes along this water stream and evenly distributes, well not really evenly, it fills up one and then the next and then the next and so on and so forth with bone meal. But that is actually really good considering this thing doesn't actually use very much bone meal because it only bone meals twice every like second and a half or so. I'm not sure the exact timing but some, something like that. It doesn't actually use very much bone meal so we don't have to worry about bone meal consumption but this farm is completely done and that is awesome. Uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would really mean a lot to me if you went ahead and subscribed. But thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.